You told him everything. About the infection. Yes. So now you know. We done here? I don't think so. What do you want, Hayward? Well, first, I'd like to express my sympathy. Losing one's eyesight is a very traumatic ordeal for both of you. Have you been consulting with a specialist? I know a, a researcher at Johns Hopkins who's doing some amazing work in optic surgery. Now, I'd be very happy to put you in touch with him if you'd like. Yes, I would. Thank you. Okay. I can't even imagine Angela as a doctor losing your eyesight. We're not giving up. I'm sure you're not. That wouldn't be you. Now, of course, this means the end of your career at the hospital and as a doctor, which I'm sure makes the whole thing so much more painful for you. I was anxious to let you know how things were going with David and anyway, sorry, again. Was there a, uh, a change? Not really, I am. Um... I defended him this morning against Caleb Cooney. Caleb Cooney, the guy who helped Erica after the plane crash? Yeah, yeah, he was being really hard on David, and I rose to his defense like a good, loyal, supportive wife that I'm supposed to be. Well, if I can get this mechanic to turn on David, you won't have to convince him of anything else ever again, except for maybe to get a really good lawyer. I hope so. Well, if I'm going to see Emma before the hospital, I better uh, get going. Ryan, wait. I'm going with you. And you do know how much Scott loves you, right? Emma, I just want to make sure that you're happy about this wedding today. I, I know it seems very sudden. Emma, sweetheart. What is it? Oh, what's wrong? Are you scared Mommy's going to get hurt again? Is that what's bothering you? I don't like it when you're sad. Oh, but I'm not. I'm not sad. I'm actually very, very happy. And I, I know that I've made some mistakes before. But sometimes as a grown-up, you have to go through the, the sadness and, and hurt a little bit to understand what true love is. And, and that's what I found. Okay. No, 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 no. You can't oh, see okay, the dress. Okay, it's okay. bad luck. It's bad luck. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Did you peek? No. First time I see that dress will be when the justice of the peace says those words. Good. Mm -hmm. Is there something you wanted to see me about? Yeah, um, I hope you don't mind, but I asked Ryan to stop by. I don't think he'll stay for the wedding or anything like that, but... Daddy's coming? Yeah. He should be here any minute. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I guess that was a hit, huh? Yeah, I think it was. Okay. You really don't mind, do you? No, I've been trying to figure out all day what's bothering her, and you just, you just knew instinctively. Sometimes a little girl just needs her dad. I think I just might marry you. Yeah? Yeah. I want us to be a family, Annie. You, me, Emma, a real family. I can't wait. Neither can I. I hear there's gonna be a wedding in here today. Yeah, that's right. Uh, listen, what? Why don't we get out of here? Just the two of us. Jared. I... No, come on. Let's give Annie and Scott their day. Yeah. Just come with me. Where? To the cottage. You've got to be kidding me. No, it, it, it all makes some kind of weird sense to me. I, it... 
We were supposed to meet there. Yeah. Well, I mean, th that didn't go over very well. But, but just imagine for me that you showed up just a few minutes later and Annie wasn't there. She was with Scott at home where she wanted to be. And we were set to do what we wanted to do, which was save our marriage. God, you can't change history just like that. Oh, but life is full of moments like that, right? A few minutes here, a few minutes there. I mean, that's how it was for me not too long ago when I almost died. But what I'm saying is, we maybe get a once-in-a-lifetime chance to get things right the way that we want to do it. 